Michael and a surprisingly small entourage arrived at the exclusive 18th century Balinacara house in the summer of 2007. With financial pressures and allegations about his personal life, Balinacara offered an escape from the baying media. And it was something of a surprise visit. We had had a call and we knew that someone was coming down here to look at uh, the property with a view to staying for a little while. We didn't really know that it was Michael Jackson until the door uh, opened and out popped this superstar. I guess you could have pushed me over with a feather. It was like, who's this? Is this for real? With 22 bedrooms to choose from, Michael went for the Balinese themed suite. He decided that this was the room that he wanted to stay in because um, for the obvious reasons that the, the kids playground was down here and he was writing his album here and been able to watch the kids and supervise them and have you know a bit of enjoyment just seeing them having fun outside. Jackson soon settled into life at Ballinacara House. Though desperate for a normal existence for himself and his family, he did make the odd pop star demand. One of the most unusual requests which um, he made of us was to, um, at night time, would I put all the lights on on the property. I got a little bit intrigued by this, wondering what he was doing. And I popped my head through the hedge, and there was Michael Jackson moonwalking in the moonlight. It was quite a, an eerie scene, seeing this pop icon practicing his dance moves in our front garden here. Listening to Des, Michael's stay at Ballinacurra House was clearly a very happy time for both him and his children. He was beautiful, great to deal with, and very down to earth, which, you know, defies a lot of the um, so-called image of the, these superstars and him as well.